Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to the second tutorial in our seven part tutorial series on how to use Google Docs. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use bullets and numbering. To get started, we're going to insert a basic bullet point. To do that, come to bullet points and click it. We've now inserted a bullet point. We can type the contents for our bullet point, such as ham, press enter, and automatically insert the next bullet point. We can change the styling of this bullet point to one of the predefined options by clicking the drop down arrow next to the bullet options and choosing the style we want. For example, these stars. We've now got our set of bullet points. If we want to create a sub bullet point or an indented bullet point, which has a different style, simply press tab at the start of the next word. This moves it in one section and creates a sub bullet point. If you want to use a bullet point which isn't in the predefined options, come to the bullet point, highlight it by clicking on it, then right click and click more bullets. Here you can see the long list of possible symbols. If you don't know the name for the symbol, you can search for it by drawing. Let's search for the at symbol. We've drawn the at symbol and Google Docs has suggested it here. Selecting it changes our bullet point to that symbol. When we're done, simply close out of this dialog box. I'm going to delete these and now let's look at numbering. Numbering works in a very similar way to bullet points. To insert them, come to the numbering option and click it. As we can see, we've started our numbering type something and press enter to insert the next number. We've now inserted our numbering. Again, there are a series of predefined options for our numbering. If you click the drop down arrow, you can choose between numbers, letters, and various styles. We might want to customize these numbers further. To add a custom prefix or change the suffix of them, left click once on one of the numbers. This should select all of them. Right click and come to edit prefix and suffix. We can then enter a prefix of our choice, such as a dash and change the suffix from this full stop to a bracket. This is currently only applying it to two because that's the one we right clicked. But if you check apply to entire list, it will apply it to all of them. Then click OK. As you can see, we now have a one, a two, and a three, all of them with a bracket. If at some point you want to restart the numbering, so set it back to one, double click on one of the options where you want to restart the numbering, right click, and choose restart numbering. You can choose the number to start at again. For example, we're gonna leave it at one, but if you wanted to say start numbering from five, that's something you could do in this way. Once you've set the number you want to start at, click OK. And as you can see, we've restarted our numbering. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Also, make sure you come back to check out the other tutorials in this series. But for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye.